Hey, shalom. Mosan Quest Bless. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, Officer Isaac. You are watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. Uh, today's topic is a ransom for our for our salvation. A ransom for our salvation. What you got to understand is we are the hostage. You follow? Mm -hmm. And the hostage happened to be what? The son of the Most High God. So what is that? What is, what is the Most High going to pay for, our, for a ransom for us? We're going to find out through the scriptures. Let's start with Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, and verse 7. Mm -hmm. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. So of thy people, of the people of the Most High God that's going to be saved, we must accept our salvation and the destruction of the enemies. It didn't say enemy, enemies. Go to Psalm 83. Let's see some of the enemies. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. You see that? Thy enemies. The Lord has enemies. Right? Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. Those enemies hate God, and they lift up their head. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have kidnapped your, ch your children, O Lord. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Let's destroy God's children because we're mad at God. We can't get to God. So let's destroy his people. Read. For they have consulted a Together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. So, number one enemy, Edom. Read. And the Ishmaelites. Ishmaelites. So, you got uh, the so-called white man. You got the Arabs. Read. Of Moab. Uh-huh. And the Hagarines. Chinese and uh, um, Egyptian. Read. Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines. With the inhabitants of Tyre. So you got Jewish, you got uh, Japanese, you got Arabs, you got Africans, you got Syrians, the Kurdistanians, right? Read. A sir also is joined with them. They have hoping the children of Lot. So Zila. go back to um, verse 2. Verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. So for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And we just name a whole bunch of enemies. Now go back to Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7 again. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. So of thy people were accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. So based on that scripture, Edom is going to be destroyed. Ishmael is going to be destroyed. Moab, Hagarim, Gabal, Ammon, Amalek, Philistine, they're all going to be destroyed. Why? Because of us. For us to be saved, they must be destroyed. Because why? They are the enemies of God, and they're holding us hostage. So when the Most High come to deliver us, he has to eliminate them. And our people must be willing to accept that. So if you're not going to accept that the Edomites, the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, and the Hagarines, and the uh, and G Gabal and Ammon and Amalek and Philistine, all these men are sure if you don't accept their destruction, you can't be delivered. You can't be saved. Mm. You can't be in the chariots heading to Israel and then you're crying about, oh, man, Edom is dead. No, the hell with Edom. That's your salvation. Read that again. Wisdom of Solomon, 18 and verse 7. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. So you cannot have one without the other. There's no salvation without people dying. And we're going to go back in history and show you that. Give me Isaiah 43 and 4. I'm going to show you that. It has always been the same. Isaiah 43 and 4. The book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse 4. Since thou wast precious in my sight, 
Thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fed, actually, start out one. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. So the Bible says, don't fear, because I have redeemed thee. Read. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. So most I say, I'm going to be with you. You're going to pass through these things, but I'll be walking with you. Don't worry. Don't stress. I already redeemed you. Read. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. So he's reminding us, like, yo, remember you was in captivity before? What happened? When I delivered you, I destroyed nations for you. Yeah, you went through hell. You got your back whipped. You had to make um, brick and mortar with no straw. But I'm still with you because when I come to deliver you, all these people died. Mm. So what you think is going to happen in the future? Same exact thing. Keep reading. Since thou were precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. So because we are precious in the sight of the Most High God, it says, since thou was precious in my sight, that has been honorable, and I have loved thee. Mm. Loved thee. Most I have always loved us. So what you talking about, John 3, 16? For God so loved the world. It says it right here, loved. Past tense. Most I, we go to Deuteronomy, most I always loved Israel. Mm. So he said, because you're precious in my sight and honorable, and I have loved thee, therefore I will give men for thee. Which men? Edomites, Ishmaelites, you follow? Hamanites, Moabites, they're gonna, most are going to give those men for us as a ransom. Read. Fear not, for and, I... Hold up, and people for thy life, a life for a life. For us to be delivered here, people got to die. Ain't no two ways about it. So you got you to gotta wrap your head around that. And come to term with it and accept it. If not, you won't be delivered. Read. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Give me Baruch, Baruch, Baruch 4.37. So, Moses, I say, I'm going to gather you from the four corners of this earth. And I'm going to bring you back. But in doing so, somebody got to pay. Because we've been in slavery here. Life hasn't been sweet. Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 37. Uh -huh. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They came, they come together. They come, they, they come gather together. From the east to the west, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. So you see that? As we're teaching these words, we're gathering the children of Israel. Right? That's what we're doing now. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah 14, 16. Before you give me Jeremiah 14, 16, give me the Exodus 12 and 12. I'm going to show you something about the Mosai's character. Since you have a hard time accepting your deliverance by the death of others, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 12 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. So Christ said, I will pass through. He came and did a lot of killing in Egypt. Read. Both man and beast and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. 
I am the Lord. So what judgment? He's going to kill people. Read. And the blood should be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague should not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So we were supposed to uh, take a lamb, kill it, and take the blood and put it on our doorpost. So that way, when, the, uh, when, when Christ passed through Egypt, he wouldn't destroy us. Today, what we got to do? We got to keep the laws. Mm -hmm. So that way, when destruction come, he's going to be like, okay, this one is sealed, this one is sealed, this one is sealed. Don't touch them. The rest, destroy them. Read. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. It shall be what? Unto you for a, memo a memorial. Read. And ye shall keep it. And you should keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So not only I'm going to kill these people, but I want you to actually keep it as a feast. When you have a feast, you party, right? Right. You have drinks, you got food. So most I want you to celebrate the death of the Egyptians. Let me say it again. Most I want you to celebrate the death of the Egyptian forever. Every year we're supposed to celebrate the Passover. But not my Jesus. Yeah, Jesus did the killing in Egypt, and he wants you to celebrate it. And that's what we're going to do. Now go to Jeremiah 16 and 14. You think this is a joke? The book of Jeremiah Chapter 16 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So there will come a day we won't have to celebrate the Passover anymore. Let's see why. Read. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. So, but it's going to happen, we're going to celebrate when we get, get delivered from the land of the north. How are we going to get delivered? Wisdom of Solomon 18 uh, and 7 tells you what? We must accept our salvation and the death of the enemies. We're in the land of our enemies, in the land of our captivity. So, therefore, that day is going to come where most are going to deliver us and he's going to do worse to this place than he did to Egypt. Mm. On that day, we won't think about Egypt no more. We're going to remember this day and celebrate that. Read. And from all the lands, whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So most are going to have us delivered from here and bring us where? To Jerusalem. To the land that was chosen for us by, our, uh, by, by the Lord God. And for that to happen... There's people living in Jerusalem now. They're fighting over that land. The fake Jews and the Palestinians, they're fighting over that land. How are we going to inherit that land if there's people there? Mm -hmm. So you understand people got to die for you to be delivered? Read. Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after what I... So hold up. I will send many fishers. Read that at Baruch for me again. Yeah. Book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 37. Mm -hmm. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sendest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. So the word is going out to the four corners. That's what it says. Go back to Jeremiah. Behold, I was sent forth for many fishers, say the Lord, and they shall fish them. So that's us teaching right now. We're fishing with the word. To bring back the captivity of, of Jacob. Read. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of, and out of the holes of the rocks. So afterwards, Mosai is going to send for hunters. And you send hunters to do what? To kill. And it says they're going to hunt them from every hills and out of the holes of the rock. There ain't no place you can't hide where we won't find you. Ready or not, here we come. The Israelites are back. And our people must accept. Our, for us to be saved, somebody got to be given as a ransom and for our exchange.
I hope you gleaned something from that. With that, we're going to say shalom. Shalom. So it is happy. You must always have your mind thinking forwardly. That's why the scripture is saying, saying, read it again, Captain. When there is no vision. If you don't have the vision to think beyond where you are, the people perish. You will perish. You understand? So we must continue. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.